and then I have to select the party that is going to give the submission, and then I have to read the description of facts. Uh, so, for example, court has the jurisdiction to try my case as it happened in Kigali. It could be anything, anything that describes that this court has the jurisdiction, for example, to judge a case. So, I would come to supporting evidence. After writing the description of facts, if I have any supporting evidence, I could add it. So, for example, evidence of the house under dispute. And then I would choose the file. Here I need to select the type. So the type is uh, court evidence, for example. If the type that you want is not in this list, you could select other. And then you write the title. And then you'd write the keywords. And then you'd click to choose the file from your computer or flash or whatever. So for example, I'll select my evidence and then click save. Please note that this is not enough. You must click on add for your evidence to actually be added in the system. So when you see another row being added under supporting evidence, that is when you know that your, your evidence has been added into the system. I could add as many supporting evidences as I have for this, um, for this item. So for example, I can add um, a court procedure as an example. And then I'll click choose file again, and then I'll click um, court evidence, and then I'll write um, court procedure and then it writes my keywords, and then I choose the file from my computer. And then I click Save. Again, this is not enough. I must click Add for this other evidence to be added in my list of supporting evidence. When you have added all the evidence that you wanted to add on this item, you would write the laws. So for example, Article 125 that you're basing on for this item. And then you dread the precedent. In other words, other cases that are similar to this case that have been judged. And then you dread the court legal position, the legal commentary. And then you'd click Save. Please note, when you click Save, your position is still in draft mode, so the court cannot be able to see it. But, for example, you could still be able to edit it. So, for example, if I open it like this, I could come to edit, and I can still add other information. Because we understand that you might want to write um, some things and then complete your form maybe tomorrow. But if you, if you want the court to see uh, your information and you're satisfied with everything that you have written in this form, you would click validated and then save. Here, when you have clicked validated and save, as you can see, you will no longer be able to edit anything. And so the court will be able to view your information that you have added here. Right. And so if you have any other issue to talk about, you would still click add, select the item that you want to talk about, Click Next, fill in the required information, fill in all the information that you might want, and when you're satisfied, click Validated and Save. If you still have any more information you would like to edit, only click Save. So for example, now we have written about two admissibility items. 
when you're satisfied with everything you wanted to write ad about admissibility items, you can write about issues to be analyzed by the court. Back to the issues or the items you wrote about by clicking on this button and then clicking on edit to see everything you wrote about. So when you're satisfied with uh, the case admissibility items, you can now write about the issues to be analyzed by the court. Still, it is the same steps. You go under the section that you want to write about. So for example, issues to be analyzed by the court, and you click add, and then you write the issue that you want to be analyzed. So for example, ownership, and then you click next. Same form. So you, you choose the party role, and then you choose the party name, and then you write the description of facts. For example, and then you um, add any supporting evidence. Um, for example, a of ownership and then you would search for example ownership and it's not there and then you write I don't know evidence it's not there so if what you want is not there you could just write other and then you'd write ownership certificate for example and then you write uh, the keywords. And then you choose the file. And click Save. Again, you must click Add for this to be added in the document. If you have any supporting um, laws, you can add them. Precedent, court legal position, legal documentary. You can save and come back to it later. Or when you're satisfied with everything you wrote in this form, you could just click validated and save. Again, if you want to view what you already wrote, you can come to click on that button and then click on this button that looks like a pen and then you can see whatever you wrote on that issue. You can add as many issues as you want, just as you can write about as many admissibility items as you want. Like I said, if you don't have anything to write about any of the sections, you can just skip it. So for example, I have nothing to write about um, counterclaim, so I'll just skip it. And then I'll go down to damages, because I want to write about damages. Again, I'll go under the section of damages and click add. So I'll write uh, what kind of damages I want to write f uh, about. So for example, and click next. Again, the same form comes up. You select the role and the party name and the description of facts. Again, you select the supporting evidence if you have any. You write about statutes, precedent, court legal position, legal documentary. And when you are satisfied about everything you wrote about, you click validated and save. If you want to write about procedure fees, still it is the same steps. Add, write the title, fill the form, and click save. And validate and save. When you have filled everything you need about this section, you can click export. And the system will export for you your submissions. You can choose to export in Word or in PDF. So as you can see, the system has um, automatically accumulated my submission form. So, now that we are done writing the submissions, we need to um, talk about court fees. So you come to the third section of court fees and click on it. And then, you are either exempted or you pay court fees. So if you are exempted, you just click on this button and then you'd be required to attach a certificate of exemption, which may be an indigenous form or a prisoner certificate or a state attorney certificate or a prosecution or ETC, whatever certificate you can. And then you click on choose file if you have one 
So when you're satisfied with partipal submissions, you would come to the third um, column of court fees. So I click on court fees, and under court fees, you're either exempted or you pay the court fees. So if you're exempted, you'd click on exempted, and then you'd be required to attach the exemption relative certificate, which may be an indigent certificate or a certificate of being a prisoner or a state certificate or prosecution certificate and ETC. So if you have one, you'd click on choose file and type, you'd type other and then you write exempted certificate And then you write the keywords. And then you click on choose file. And click on save. And then you're done. However, if you are not exempted, the system shows you the amount of filing fees that you need to pay, depending on the court. So you would write here the Rwanda revenue receipt number that shows your payment. So for example, 61885693. And then you'd choose your receipt, your Rwanda revenue receipt, by clicking on choose file. Uh, typing receipt, payment receipt. And then uh, you could write Court fees filing. So, for example, case filing fees receipt. And then you'd read the keywords. For example, fees and receipt separated by a semicolon. And then you'd attach your file. And then you look for the file from your computer and click save. So as you can see, we have um, a receipt attached. So you can always go back and check that you, the information you wrote was valid and correct. If you would like, you can save this document and submit it another time. So for example, you click save. When you click save, this document is added to your My Cases, but it is not yet submitted to the court. So when you open it, after two days or three days, whenever you want to submit it or whenever you want to correct it, you can click edit and make changes that you wanted to make earlier. Please note that the, that the system will automatically give um, your case a draft case number and it will show the status of the case, the current status of the case, slash the next status of the case. So for example, this case is under draft court case and it is pending case submission. So um, when you have filled everything that you need, you can click on save and submit to court and then the case will be submitted to the court. So before I leave, I would like to tell you about these two tabs that we haven't touched. The court schedule and the notes and attachments. So the court schedule will always show you the schedule of the court about this case. So for example, if the court has scheduled this case for pre-trial meeting or hearing meeting or a pronouncement meeting, you would always come under court schedule and you will be able to see the court schedule for this case. Under notes and attachment, you will see what attachments have been um, input into this case. And then you will be able to see the comments that the court has written to you. Or you can also write comments to the court registry. So for example, I want to write to the court registry and tell them um, that I didn't have one of the evidences that I need to submit. So I'll go under comments slash issues and then I click on add and then I'll select if it is a private or a public note 
Public note means it will be viewed by everyone, while private uh, note means that it will be viewed by only the people you select to view this, ca the, uh, this comment. So for example, if it's a public note, I would say, uh, for example, further evidence. And then I click Save. So I have written the title of the comment. Now I need to actually add the comment. So I would click on Add Comment, and I say, Dear Sir, I forgot to attach an evidence that I will attach in two days. For example, if you have any attachments to um, accompany a comment, you can just add it here and then I'll click save. So if, if the court ever wrote a comment under another subject, I would see it here. If they commented on my subject, I would see